let's also change the in audio capture device yeah can you hear me now yeah okay okay i think we are live the only capture the only issue is i don't see myself anywhere on the screen i am guessing that is because Oh, this is very strange. Activate. Okay, okay, we are fully live now. So I think I, yeah, yeah. So I have just changed my position a little bit because the graph is always towards the right corner, and I happen to sit on the right corner. So now we are on the left corner. So here is my big headline, right? See, a big move has happened in the market, and luckily for us, we were on the right side of that big move, right? Now. The most important thing at this point is that yeah, at some point we had to say ki yar ho gaya. I'm very happy with whatever happened, and now I'm not in a hurry to you know uh, make a big make big money or capture a huge moment or something. At some point, right? It's very important uh, <clears throat> to understand that okay, things might not happen the way we expect them to, and you know just chill out for a bit and wait for things to settle down a little bit so uh, the most important thing at this point is we take a pause we take a chill pill we are not in a hurry to do anything and we uh, think about what next right so a lot of people are now saying that we are not a hundred percent sure whether nifty is on a range expansion or a channel right and this is an important thing right because i got a few mails from our Uh, usual viewers of the last few days which had two theories one of course is that this is a channel breakdown and we might see a complete you know continuation of the channel the second set of opinion is from people who said boss dekho this is the channel bottom this is the real channel bottom and from here on we are seeing reversal now for whatever reason i am i belong to the channel breakdown category right i don't belong to the reversal category but <clears throat> my point is i don't want to get into a phase where it is not very clear what the market is actually going to do right so if you have a doubt you know that i am not sure if this is a breakdown or if it is a reversal then maybe it's not a necessary that you get into this trade right away right you can let it go and you can wait and watch for the sidelines a few, few uh, for a few time right now if you ask my opinion i think the channel is gone i think it is a toast of nifty i would ideally like to sell on the next uh, uptick i get but if you ask me right now ki yaar wo sab chodo tum batao kya karna hai i'll probably start building shorts with light position sizes right because i really think this is the breakdown of support because the last time we talked about it the supports have been comprehensively taken out the channel is gone even if you look at today's price action right nifty is forming two dojis both of these dojis tried to go back into the channel they could not so what is my chart read point number 1 if you are not very sure it's okay yaar chill maro thoda uh, if you don't take a trade now there's nothing wrong there was a good movement which we captured in the last you know two weeks but objectively i think the channel is gone i think this is still a shorting opportunity i would want to take some positions at least on the short side at this point maybe not big positions but some small position i can of course take right maybe some slightly far otm sell or some call spread maybe not a, deb a debit put spread because that requires timing but call spreads i can always take but whatever it is at this point the obvious thing to do is don't be long at this point right because if this is going to continue this is going to be violent and the last leg of correction can be you know quite nasty so never go long at this point stay halka sa short if you don't have too much conviction you can choose to not take any trade if you don't have conviction and of course you can take small sh big shots if you have conviction I am in the you know 50% conviction category, so I have some call options sold. I have September ka some calls short, I have some December ka old short still running. Some I booked of course in the last you know, and I rolled over the strike. But uh, I don't want to be short futures at this point. I don't want to be buying put options at this point. I don't want to be doing uh, debit spread at this point. I am happy to sell far away calls. I am happy to keep light positions. I am happy to be neutral without any trade, right? Because I can hear other people saying that this is the bounce or this is the reversal or this is some range expansion. Maybe there is some truth to what we are saying. So let's give it some time to see what happens. 
but but i am basically um, you know on light positions with a bearish bias will i take huge shots here no right because maybe there is some uptip coming I, I don't know right so and anyway after we have captured one big move when we had a lot of conviction there is no jaldbazi to go into some you know half uh, conviction wale things right and also one more thing which I, we talked about earlier which i am kind of you know skeptical about is there is a 100 weekly moving average of nifty here so if that holds and it goes back into the channel we might see some bounce so i am watching this level again too early to say anything it is only day one of the week uh, and this candle is yet to be formed but if you look at the weekly charts there is a 100 weekly moving average and i am thoda respectfully watching it if that holds and it goes back into channel we might see some uptick but if that doesn't hold because today for example right it went below the 100 weekly moving average and then it tried to take out the 100 weekly moving average from below but it could not so if it doesn't go above the 100 weekly moving average it also means it would not close above the cha channel ka bottom so below the channel bottom below the 100 weekly, weekly moving average i think it's a nice opportunity to short if the price sustainably closes below so then i'll look to short right and i'll also look at some price action candle but as of now till nifty goes back into this channel or closes above this weekly moving averages on a weekly basis i am not going to be long nifty absolutely no sense in longing nifty at this point now let's also take a look at what the monthly candle is looking a monthly candle looks absolutely nasty so basically there is no time frame in which nifty justifies a long right now there are multiple time frames in which you can be halka sa short or even you know uh, short i mean if you, if you want to be bada short you can be bada short but i don't think it's a good idea to be bada short after a huge movement right i mean thoda give it a breathing space let some positions build up let some people come and do some you know up tick down tick but at this point without you know uh bari short might not be anand is saying he's bari short yaar bari short to nahi karna apne ko bari short tha wo nikal diya so so that is that so then let us look at uh, so now let us look at other data points right other data points interestingly are all short there are 12 million calls added um, 16 million puts but the important point to note is that 15500 is a massive short addition right and uh, the short puts are all happening below in some other levels overall option chain 15000 is the support 15500 is the resistance so let me just write it down i don't think i have written it down so below channel break below 100 wma is short back into channel is uh, temporary long wait and watch price action is the strategy for now yaar matlab jaldi nahi yaar matlab you can't always take a position right one of the important things you have to realize if you are trading is that i can't always have a position in the market wo to matlab kafi you understand the problem right you can have structural shorts running like wo december wala short and all is fine but if you are doing short term trades like june ka call option short ya july ka call option short then you can't be always short right like the my 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 trades for example the december and all they are all almost like investment decisions not trading decisions that yes you can hold but the other thing is a little tricky with gamma in it because you can get uh, whip, whipped out like if i am shorting let's say 15500 call then it's very tricky because 200 points and you are out of the money i mean you are in the money basically you are losing money on a short right so that is tricky option chain uh, call addition 15500 is the resistance 15000 is support right and pcr is 0.7 which is slightly bearish i won't call it massively bearish because over the last two weeks three weeks we all always saw 0.5 0.5 0.5 right fida data is encouraging uh, uh, for shorts actually so there are way more puts than calls that always has been the case but today they got out of both puts and calls this might be some neutrality right and if you look at the overall buy sell activity 1000 crore sell that's not nice index futures around neutral so so uh forex i mean 3x puts as calls but daily data is sell call and sell put which indicates some neutrality 
futures data is neutral because 17 crores only this is 1000 crore plus sell which anyway has always been the case right so basically it is reflecting what we are thinking also it is basically long term bearish but short term neutral to slightly bouncy right so long term bearish bias short term can be neutral or bounce right this is what i meant so it's it's a good time to sell options right now because our bias is short basically trades on that receive premium on the short side right basically sell calls or even or uh, credit call spreads why because if it remains neutral if you buy options that is buy put options if you do any trade that pays a premium during a neutral market you won't make money right so during a neutral market you have to take trades that receive premium which basically means sell calls or sell puts but then we have a bearish bias which means sell puts can go nasty right basically if i am really really courageous and if i had no market outlook right now i would be selling both calls and puts but because i have a bearish bias i'm going to be selling only calls and no puts right this is the outlook now let's go to bank nifty bank nifty is below the middle of the channel bank nifty is also struggling to close below i mean basically this bearish engulfing is going to act as a huge resistance we know that on a daily time frame and now let's look at weekly time frame it is below the channel bottom sorry channel middle and it is below the 100 weekly moving average uh, i mean it's a negative market only i mean if you see and there are so many people who are now saying ki yahan pe reversal aayega reversal aayega that's what is scaring me actually uh, because see a lot of us thought at 13000 14000 etc nifty on the way up that enough is enough and this is where everything stops right but it went to 18000 and more often than not i have observed that this also happens on the reversal right now abhi everybody is saying ki boss bahut ho gaya enough is enough this is where everything turns this is the same thought which got people to short on the way up right so basically market always surprises you by moving more than what you expect so my thought process is simple right everybody is saying ki yahan pe kuch hai yahan pe and basically don't try to be those people who are trying to predict the bottom here i mean the, that doesn't make sense right maybe 14000 is my target i'm i'm not saying target i'm just saying that i don't see a target till market gives a reversal signal so right now please don't buy here please don't build your long term portfolios here please don't do long positions on fndo here my simple advice sorry my simple request rather is that see everybody who thought yaha pe top 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 all those people got screwed right especially look at the last 4 5 days of market they were gap 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 like before the top of the market there were four gaps consecutively 1 2 3 and then 4 there were four gap up opens every single day before the top of the market and that was absolute violence right we are not seeing that kind of violence yet theek hai there is one big bearish engulfing but uske baad it has fir bhi calm down right my point is i don't think we are anywhere near that absolute you know desperate uh, like it's it's not really dark yet i think there is some more darkness to come and maybe there will be a dawn after that but as of now uh please don't get into the business of predicting the bottom because everybody who was predicting the top thought of top at 14 15 16 17 eventually the top happened at 1860 right similarly bottom might be a same story and if bottom is the same story like that then trying to you know catch a falling knife can be very very dangerous let's look at our one last asset class which is usd inr usd inr is uh, going to be super tricky uh because Uh, so i had um, call spreads on usd inr i squared them out because of no reason except impatience today because yaar hili nahi raha it's not moving anywhere right it's just it's just stuck right it's just stuck 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 uh, so i somebody is saying fi data is not out now what do you mean by fi data is not today is monday 20th june right this is correct right or are you saying that oh are you saying that the cash and futures data is from friday uh, 
maybe yeah okay maybe i am not sure well, let's just see right and if i did uh, nc hey yeah, this is today's data it is out 20th june right so so fi data is, so sorry usd inr is just stuck in a range it is very frustrating so i just thought you know what i don't want to but i'll give you one you know uh, well meaning advice uh, doesn't make sense to short us dollar it almost seems like somebody is supporting the dollar which could probably be supporting the rupee which could probably be usd uh, i mean the rbi but the moment something really bad happens and every buddy is going to buy dollar out of fear when risk sentiment comes back then central bank intervention might not be enough to hold the dollar where it is so i would not short the dollar but i really really wish i could long the dollar in a trade which does not have a, a premium dk so one way in which you could execute that trade and this is going to be very tricky but i'll i'll tell you that trade nevertheless right so one way in which uh, you can do a dollar trade without paying a premium is a range forward so let me go to uh, builder so basically right i want to buy a call on dollar but i have to pay a premium of sorry so let's say i want to buy a call i'll just make it 100 lots so that bade bade numbers come on screen so this has 12500 ka premium right uh, so let's say i'm doing 78 25 ka call one thing i can do is i'll add a 77 75 ka put also uh, on the short side right so i'll do this also 100 lots now the good thing is that this is a range forward and uh, your uh, net premium you pay is uh, one second is only 2000 rupees right so essentially what you are saying in this trade is that boss dekho usd niche to nahi jayega but jab upar fatega us time pe i'll have a lot of pnl so basically you are funding the premium you are paying on the buy call using the premium on the sell put of course the max loss is unlimited on this trade it has all the problems associated with the naked uh, position but this gives you a better you know it, it allows you to wait till all of this is over so for every week i hold this trade i'm only paying a premium of 2k the other thing of course you can do is that call spread but call spread ka problem is you won't capture that unlimited upside if dollar explodes right i'm not saying dollar will explode but if it explodes you should be in a position to capture it of course the other thing you can do is you can buy naked futures but that's a tricky thing to do so range forward is one way in which you can think of uh, executing a dollar view on the long side um, but i don't think it's a good idea to short the dollar because in case dollar goes up it will be a very very nasty thing um, okay so that is that so let me see if there's anything left i'm just going through the user comments nothing much here okay so that concludes our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thanks guys again for joining as usual this is just analysis and this is not buy sell recommendations or anything you know i don't get any money from any broker if anybody takes a trade and uh, yeah you, you you know you know the jig right so on that note i'll take your leave we'll see you again tomorrow thanks so much for guys for joining and as usual please keep your capital safe goodbye